I'm doing it, guys. I am doing it. It is time to move on from Cristiano Ronaldo. His era at Manchester United has come to an end. And yes, I'm putting him on the transfer list. Come on, my lover. Come on, my friend. I've told you guys before, Ronaldo was only going to be a one-season thing. We're going to move on to a new striker next season. So, before the end of this season, I want to wrap the deal up with Ronaldo so we can just focus on a fresh beginning from season two. So, yes, in this episode, his offers come in, we'll evaluate them and probably look to sell Ronaldo. His contract is anyway going to be coming to an end the season after, so it makes sense selling him now. Also, hold up, although we're out of the Champions League, we might just have an outside chance to win the Premier League. Six games to go. If we win our game in hand, we'll be four points off Liverpool, five off Chelsea. You know what? If we can get some results along the way, it's possible. We could end up winning the Premier League. It's an outside chance, but still, we gotta believe. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Now, if you're enjoying this Manchester United career mode, the departure of Ronaldo will be decided in this episode. If you want all that kind of drama, you know what to do. Drop a like, subscribe, and let's go. Press conference to kick things off. Don't sell Ronaldo. Already comments wanting me to not to sell him. The money you would get won't be useful, and you could use him as backup for a new striker like Nunes. That's a good shout, but I honestly think Ronaldo is just going to keep getting worse. This season, he's down by three. By the end of the season, probably he'll be able 87, 86 rated. It's only going to get worse. Right now, we could get 44 million for him. That's huge. Or we could maybe even use him in a swap deal for Darwin Nunes and sort that one out for next season, you know? That could be an idea. I just want to do it, guys. I just feel it's the smart thing to do and get this all done and dusted. We've used Ronaldo enough on FIFA 22. I think it's time for fresh beginnings. Next up, don't write this season off. You could still win the Premier League. It's only a four-point gap and it would be a huge upset. Yep, we genuinely have an outside chance of winning the Prem. It's very slim because you guys know my form. It's been tragic. But if you look at the fixtures we've got, only Arsenal and Chelsea look like dangerous games. If we get through them with wins, it's possible. Next up, Bruno Fernandes was just way better at Cam. He was brilliant until you bought in Kunku. Maybe put in Kunku on the wing or sell him. Bruno on Cam was working. Controversial, but I do agree in a way. Bruno Fernandes at Cam was scoring a ton of goals and Kunku has been doing the same, but now we're seeing a reduced output from Bruno Fernandes. If you look at Nkunku's stats, where's our boy Nkunku? He's actually done very well, but Bruno Fernandes had even more incredible stats at Cam. So I'm a bit confused on this one. Let me know if you think we've made the wrong call. For now, for this season, we're going to keep it as is. Maybe next season, we'll look to make some adjustments. Anyway, split of the episode. We conceded a ton of goals in the last one, but still, without David De Gea, I think we'd concede more. So for me, split of the episode goes to him. All right, guys. So my plan now for this episode, do you know, sell Ronaldo? Ronaldo is first of all, I want to see what kind of offers I get for Ronaldo. If I get good offers quickly, we'll sell him. If not towards the end, maybe we'll make a move for Darwin Nunes. That could be the play. A straight swap deal for the Uruguayan, sending Ronaldo back to Portugal as well for his last few years in his career. Could be smart. For now, six games in the Premier League, basically six finals. If we win them all, there's maybe an outside chance we win the title. Let's get the first one against Norwich underway. It's a 3-0 win. Thanks you do love to see. Oh, okay, the gap is six points between us and Chelsea, but if they slip up even once, we play Chelsea. Our goal difference is similar. It's actually very open, this title race. Trust me, this game against Arsenal, if we win, I feel like our chances will be even more increased. Let's do this. I've just been so disappointed with Luke Shaw lately that I'm playing Alex Telles for this one. Plus, the next David Beckham Fowler starts in that central midfield position. In a game like this, he needs to shine. All right, can we start the game strong? A lot of criticism about how we're using Bruno. Now we're playing him at camp for this game, which is something we haven't done in a while as he gets pushed off the ball. How is that not a foul? Pressure's on, folks. You guys know in games like this, I've not done well this season. That's that's one thing we just haven't nailed down. So we need we need to get the job done here. If we can win this game, maybe, just maybe, an outside chance of winning the big one, the Premier League title as Sancho breaks through you. Looking decent, Sancho. Oh my God, Jaden Sancho. What a finish in a game like this for him to pull that off. Absolutely tremendous. Jaden Sancho puts Manchester United into the lead against Arsenal. And what a lovely finish it was. Oh, look at that. One turn inside, bang. Absolutely beautiful from Jaden Sancho. Superb. That, that's what we need to see. 
Trust me, I genuinely feel Sancho has been one of the standout players. Every time I give him the ball, I feel like something's going to happen. He's just that kind of a player. Who do you think, guys, have been the standout players this season? I think Anthony, Sancho, Bruno. These are all players I've really enjoyed using this season. Ronaldo has had his moments, but I feel like just like in real life, Ronaldo's become kind of a moments player instead of always being on it, which is not a disrespect to him because he's 37, guys, to still be... That kind of a player is, is remarkable. Oh, a mistake from us. A mistake from us. That's going to cost us unless one Bissaka can track back. He's messed up as well. Julian Brandt, that is completely on me. Shocking defending. I just feel like our defenders have just been stupid this season. That's the, the best way to describe them. Honestly, we're leading comfortably. And then for them to make a mistake like that, just... Oh, oh, oh. Horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. I have no one... But myself and my defenders to blame. 1-1. One, one. And here's Sancho once again trying to get us back in this game. Oh, superb from Jadon Sancho. This is what he's unreal at. Looks inside for Ronaldo. That's brilliant. Jadon Sancho deserves all the credit for that. Good finish from Ronaldo. But Sancho, literally from the halfway line, decides to take on everyone. Beats all of them. And then the cutback was perfect. That's what Jadon Sancho is all about. He has completely surpassed my, my my expectations i thought rashford was going to be better than him but nope sancho's the man oh luis muriel no 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 uh, alex Teles, good challenge but we've given back possession i don't want to concede now let's actually hold on to this lead for a while come on now this is not good not good at all good job fowler and then he puts his head right into the defender don't know what was that about and just there's nothing i can do absolutely nothing martin erdegaard scores as well defensively we're, we're shambles that's yeah we're shambles and next season i think that's another department we need to address oh no they've sent luis muriel through how is he not off varan has done well catching up to him that's superb but they might still have a chance to score one bisaka with a gold saving sliding challenge that's what we want to see fowler Looking for Bruno. I see Ronaldo making a run through. Ronaldo! That's Cristiano Ronaldo at his best. I know this is going to be his last season at the club. But he is still delivering for Manchester United until the last time he wears that shirt. That's commitment from Cristiano. Super play again from Fowler. Bruno as well. And then Ronaldo doing the business. You get the ball to him in the box. He will get the job done for you. We're leading 3-2. What a first half this has been. Brandt, Erdegaard, and I just can't defend. I just can't defend. Arsenal make it 3-3. This game has been a Premier League classic. Like, wow. Oh, I see Ronaldo making a good run. It's a brilliant ball for Ronaldo. What a finish. Cristiano Ronaldo. Is that a hat-trick? It is. Cristiano Ronaldo has just scored a hat-trick against Arsenal. Just like the old days. Ronaldo. And this was probably his best goal of the night. What a finish. Anthony with an inch-perfect cross. Ronaldo with the composure to put that through his legs. Don't know what's happening in this game. It's just been crazy stuff. But what a finish from Ronaldo. At the Emirates, Cristiano has just bagged a hat-trick. If this is going to be his last season at the club, he is really putting on a show. But a guard. Oh, he's done me again. I just can't defend. That's the issue here. I'm good attacking-wise, but I just can't defend. Finally, we, we survived that. We need to just keep the ball for a bit, I guess. Anthony, with maybe a chance to do something from distance. That didn't work. But that's the issue now. We, we just can't give away the ball like that cheaply and concede on the breakaway. They've got so much space to work with now. We need to track back. That should be easy for one Bissaka. There you go. Oh, that's lovely play between Ronaldo and Anthony here. And they're still linking up really well. Cristiano Ronaldo, what a challenge from Gabriel. That could have been a chance for Ronaldo to score his fourth of the night. Bad. This is bad. Luis Muriel. Luis Muriel, Kieran Tierney now. Fowler, Erdegaard, Tierney again. I'm going sliding in. Mistake nope. from me. And that comes off the post. What a relief. Oh, my God. That should have been four all in this game. Guys, 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 guys. Martin Erdegaard has just missed the sitter there. Goes for goal. Hits it with a lot of power. Comes off the top of the post. Wow. I'm just being smart about everything now. Keeping possession. Arsenal are still trying to wait for a counter-attack and opportunity. We're not going to give them one. Bruno? Oh, we might have a chance to score another goal. Leno, how are you saving that? Going to take this one shot. We don't need to do anything stupid. Although, space for Bruno. You might just go for goal. Bruno Fernandes almost scored another. That's what I'm talking about. A Premier League classic against Arsenal. But one in which we come through. Big win for us. And Ronaldo takes home the match ball. We follow that up with another solid result against Brentford. Sancho scoring 
a brace. See, guys, I told you, there is still a possibility we could win the league. This is nuts. This is absolutely nuts. Liverpool, top of the Premier League, though, on goal difference, but they've bottled it. They've absolutely bottled it. We're on the same points as Liverpool. Chelsea have the best chance of winning the league because they've got a game in hand, but we play Chelsea as well. Yo, things are changing, and we could actually win the Premier League in our first season at Man United. Oh, my days. we got to keep winning in the Prem. We're getting through this one against Brighton. Give me a dub here. There you go. The team is stepping up big time. Meanwhile, AC Milan have come in with a £45 million pound offer for Ronaldo. I don't think I'm going to negotiate this. It's a solid offer. Cristiano Ronaldo to AC Milan. Maybe replacing Ibrahimovic there. Well, it's time. He's on rail. Ronaldo is on rail. We've had a good season with him. He could win the Premier League. That'll be a perfect send-off for the great man himself. But it's time for Manchester United as a club to move on. And I'm accepting this. Ronaldo will be on his way to, of course, AC Milan if this deal goes through. We've accepted the offer. Wow. Liverpool have bottled it again. Just look at the state of this. We beat Chelsea. We go above them in the Premier League. I kid you not, we could win the title somehow. Everybody else is bottling it. City in sixth. If we beat Chelsea, we'll win the title, I feel. Absolutely. This game against Chelsea is absolutely ridiculous. Oh, my days. Manchester United versus Chelsea. Chelsea. Let's do this. For this game, guys, I don't want to mess up the lineup. We need to go with our strongest team. The, the problem is, I see that five at the back from Chelsea and I'm scared. They've got a few players not fully fit. We can take advantage of this. This is basically, whoever wins this is going to win the Premier League title. What a game this is going to be. I don't know what's going to happen if this ends in a draw, but if we lose, I don't think we're winning the title. Let's do this. I don't think any of us expected that this season will be in a potential Premier League title decider, but that's the situation. Somehow we're in this. And let's make it count. But against the five at the back, Chelsea, it's not going to be easy. This is probably the worst formation for me to play against. Lovely bit of play from our Brazilian sensation. He does really well. Anthony going for goal. That's absolutely ridiculous to do that in a potential Premier League title decider. Oh, my God. Anthony with a potential goal of the season contender. That is absolutely insane. The run as well. That was a complete solo effort. Started from very deep. And for him to go all the way and do that, that, that that's hands down a potential goal of the season contender. Absolutely insane from Anthony. And well, somehow we're leading this game, making us the... The, the best possible team to win the Premier League title. Unreal. And guys, I wasn't kidding when Anthony started this from our very own half. I mean, look at this here. Just waiting for Alonso to come in. Takes it to the right. Bang. Gets past him. Somehow keeps the ball inside. Moving inside. Anthony just keeps going. Beats another one. Beats Havertz. And then it's, it's a ruthless finish. Superb stuff. We're actually now going to win the Premier League if we can hold this advantage. I shouldn't have said that. Problems for us here. It's Havertz. Now Lukaku. Oh my god. Why? As soon as I score, why do I always end up conceding? It literally happened three times against Arsenal. It's now happened again. It's Lukaku against this former team. 1-1. One, one. All the hard work down the drain. Oh, that's a good one for Mason Mount. And Chelsea have another chance to score. I'm so glad Mount skied this. But oh boy, Chelsea are coming into this game at Old Trafford. Oh, the stakes have never been this high. We can do open up a bit of space, gets taken out there, and it's a free kick for Manchester United. Don't think it could have been in a better position for us. Who do I take this one with? Is it Ronaldo or Bruno? I think I want to do this with Bruno. I just feel like he's got the better free kick stats. Can we put this in? Oh my god. If we can, it would be unreal. Bruno Fernandes times it well. Oh my god, Mendy. No. What a save. Come on, let's get this one to Ronaldo. Okay, maybe not. Maybe the Luke shot. Although we still have a chance. Varane looking for Nkunku from distance. That was never going to work. It falls for Bruno again. Can he take it wide and maybe look for a cross? That's what I'm looking to do. It's a decent ball in. Sancho falls for Ronaldo. Cleared away. And the Chelsea get this one away. It's been an electric game. First 22 minutes. End-to-end -end stuff. Okay, one Bisaka. That's a strong challenge. And we get that one. And here's Anthony again. Oh, he gets taken out. That's not a foul. It is. It is a foul. It's going to be a booking. Now it's Chalabar. Chelsea getting restless with these kind of challenges. This time, boys. I'm going to bank on Ronaldo to take it. Oh, my days. 26 yards. Cristiano Ronaldo. A lot of power. Puts this one. Mendy again. That was a fantastic attempt from Ronaldo. As we still get the ball with Anthony. Sal and uh, Ronaldo, what are they doing? I don't know. But we still have it here. 
looking for Bruno now. He's opened up a bit of space, strikes it. Deflection corner, but my god, this game is getting really, really intriguing. I'm gonna try and put this one for Ronaldo. No, it's gone for. I don't even know who Bruno gets it though. Chest it down. Could look for another cross in. Far post for Ronaldo. Ronaldo's picked up a knock. That's not good. And Kunku gets it. Shoots. Blocked. We still have it. And Kunku on the turn. Shoots. Oh, that was awful. But Ronaldo has picked up a knock. Let's hope it's not too serious. It looks like a shoulder injury. And normally those are fine. So we'll keep Ronaldo on. Problems for us. Havertz looks inside for Lukaku. That's a brilliant block from Rafa Varane. Huge. And it could start a breakaway for us. As here goes Jaden Sancho. Could look for a cross in. Tries to find Ronaldo. The header is superb. No, it isn't. It's too easy for Mendy, that. Okay, I think I just absolutely clatter Timo Werner there. Had to do it, man. Had to do it. It's going to be a booking, though. What a first half, man. 1-1. One, one. Titles on the line. Whew, the second half is going to be even more insane. Meanwhile, I think Liverpool is enjoying watching this. If this game ends in a draw, Liverpool also will have an outside chance of winning the title. I think they're hoping for just that. Oh, Sancho, that touch was lovely. Yeah, he goes. Does he have the pace? Christensen took him out there. Chelsea defending like a title depends on this game, and it absolutely does. It's been a defensive masterclass from them. I'm, I'm still confused whether the draw benefits us or not. We'll have to win our final game, but goal difference-wise, are we calm? I'm not sure, so the better solution is to just win, but... It's not that easy, eh? Oh, Sancho's making a run. Sancho's making a run. Sancho heads it down. Still Sancho. The touch was heavy. It still could be a chance. No. Oh, man. That was another good chance. Havertz now looking for Mount. Big Rom looking for Havertz. No, 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 no. That's a chance. Luke Shaw, get this one away. Oh, my God. That could have been our title ambitions over. Anthony, the goal scorer, created something out of nothing earlier on in this game. Can he do that once again? Juan Bissaka. Too many. Bruno's got a bit of space to work with, trying to open up with a roulette there. Still Bruno, not enough space there. Too many has found a bit of space, blocked again. Chelsea defending incredibly well. Oh no, they're breaking through, they're breaking through. This is not good, Werner. Marcus Alonso, inside for Romelu Lukaku. The pass inside for Mount, big save from David De Gea. Oh, it's a set piece now for Chelsea. It's a set piece, they're bringing on, I don't even know who, but they've got a corner. Saul has been subbed off. For Jorginho, ball comes into the box. No, 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 how? How do we concede a header from Aspilicueta? That sums up our season. So close, but yet so far. Aspilicueta's header in the 81st minute could end our title ambitions. Ah, oh, this is just depressing. Good ball for Werner. They've got another chance. We need to be the team creating the chances, man. We survived that, and we need to hit them on the break. Now, Anthony, we need him to do something spectacular but he just gives it back to their goal scorer that's gonna be it for the game i think we've lost the premier league title i think it's all over chelsea have beaten us we put up a valiant effort this season but i don't think it's enough wow ac milan don't want to sign cristiano ronaldo now that's interesting they couldn't agree on wages that's how the situation is one game to go if we win and chelsea lose yeah then we can maybe win the premier league but it's all over i think it's done and dusted the premier league is over chelsea gonna win the title final game of the season gonna play players like ilanga give him a game out we'll, we'll play fowler as as well we'll also play bruno finance uh, I, nah, we'll play Nkunku. We'll play McTominay. We should give him a game, certainly. We'll play the likes of Dalot, Tellez, maybe even Lindelof. Why not? Maybe, you know, Big Dean Henderson deserves a game as well. well. We'll play him in this one as well and just get this out of the way. Wrap up the Premier League season. We managed to win it. Uh, McTominay scores and let's just look at the Premier League table. Three points is the gap. Three points is what separates us and Chelsea. Fair enough. Congratulations, Chelsea, for winning the title. I think we put on a valiant effort. It's our defense that i think let us down and next season we need to address that three points off chelsea it is what it is we'll be back stronger next season a crystal palace striker top scorer in the prem is incredible ronaldo was our top scorer with 17 sancho also scoring 17 bruno with 13 anthony with 13 sancho has had a ridiculous season can't lie assist wise bruno spectacular ronaldo did well love to see that doesn't look like any other club is interested in cristiano ronaldo folks i think then the 
only option is maybe a swap deal with Darwin Nunes. Let's see if that'll work. All right, here we go. Darwin Nunes, his release clause is practically the same as what Ronaldo would cost. So I think doing a swap deal does work in our favor, but it's the thing whether they'll accept it or not. We're putting Ronaldo in the deal. Will they accept a swap deal? And they will. A straight swap. Ronaldo and Darwin Nunes. I think it works in our favor. Ronaldo gets a good retirement opportunity in, of course, Portugal. Let's negotiate with Nunes and complete our first signing of next season already. All right. So we'll have a good wage budget to work with because Ronaldo is going the other way. I will give him a rotation squad role, Darwin Nunes. Perfect. He's willing to accept that. Five-year deal, of course. Um, He wants three years. Get out of here. Four years minimum. Minimum. No release clause is well and we'll offer him 80,000 per week as the the wages i think it's a very good contract done darwin nunez will be joining us next season ronaldo will be going the other way yes we have sold cristiano ronaldo we do need to take a look at the detailed stats for this season 21 goals ronaldo top scorer he's going to be joining of course benfica when the transfer window opens sancho second top scorer anthony coming in with incredible stats bruno with an insane season assist wise he stepped up especially in that deep Role. It's time for the end of season award ceremony, starting with goal of the season. I think you guys know Anthony is getting in for that goal against Chelsea. Couldn't quite win us the Premier League title, but it was a fantastic goal. And your next nominee is going to be Bruno Fernandez's rocket of a strike. Take a look at your goals and make your decision in the comments. Lovely bit of play from our Brazilian sensation as he does really well. Anthony going for goal. That's absolutely ridiculous to do that in a potential Premier League title decider. Oh my god, Anthony with a potential goal of the season contender. That is absolutely insane. The run is well. That was a complete solo effort started from very deep. And for him to go all the way and do that, that, that that's hands down a potential goal of the season contender. Absolutely insane from Anthony. We still have it somehow, Rashford. Looking for Bruno Fernandes, has found that open space off the crossbar. That's what I'm talking about. Now, that is seriously a potential goal of the season contender. What a strike from Bruno. I've been waiting to see that from him. I mean, he's been scoring a ton of goals, but none of them like that. What a strike. Oh, let's see the replay, guys. Oh, lovely stuff. Um, the strike from Bruno. Oh, the power. Next up, best transfer. This is not an easy one because we did sign a fair few players. The likes of Anthony, the likes of Nkunku, too many, and Pau Torres as well. So it's it's not an easy call, but Anthony has to be one of them and too many as well. I think among all the signings we made, those two were so, so key. It's going to be them. And finally, best player of the season. It was a tough one, but I'm going to exclude Ronaldo for this. I just feel like the season Sancho has had deserves Deserves a bit of credit. He's been the man. Joint top scorer along with Ronaldo playing as a winger. Has to be him along with Bruno who was dominating that midfield for us. So those are your nominees. Let me know your decisions and votes in the comments. Player growth wise as well. This has been a great season for a lot of players. Look at Sancho up to an 88. David De Gea's kept his rating. Varane up to an 87. Too many has gone up by 7 ratings. Or 6 actually. So that's been great. But I think this is where we're going to be calling it a day. Season 1 done. It's been a decent season of building the squad. I think we're ready to challenge for titles. We came close in the Prem. Champions League, we need to really up our game for that. But yeah, I'll catch you guys for season two. No Ronaldo, so that's going to be a big shift to compete without him. Hopefully we can cope. Drop like if you enjoyed the first season. Subscribe if you're new around here. I'll catch you guys for season two probably this Saturday. Peace.